just wait a minute. Just I uh, will just uh, check it when which question you haven't solved. Shahid as well. This is sorry. I think question number nineteen you haven't solved paper for Shahid. So. Yes, I have doubt in that question. Okay, Can you Shahid, you uh, you also haven't solved the question. So I just got disconnected. My uh, today my network is weak. Weak. Are you able to see the screen? Harif and Shahid. Uh, yes, uh, please do solve it. I will just uh, uh, explain question number 19. There is a little bit problem in my network. So please do solve. solve. You can see question number 11 and 16. Please do a start solve. Okay, sir.
any answer? Both of you. Doing, sir. Okay, take your time, no problem. Shahid, have you got any answer? Uh, no, sir. Uh, trying to do it. Okay. Should I explain? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, I'm going to explain. 5 percent solution of cane sugar. Cane sugar, you know, sugar that is C12 H22 O11, which has a molecular weight that is given is isotonic with 1% solution of mass uh, solution of substance X. And we need to calculate the molecular weight of this X. First of all, do you know what does this isotonic means here? Isotonic is uh, basically of a solute is equal to solvent. Mm -hmm. Isotonic that means same omotic trace. Isotonic means same. Yeah. Yeah. Osmotic trace basically here we will take. Cosmotic uh, traces. Now you can see five percent sugar. That means this is Sir, voice talking is about weight by volume. So
Sorry, I again just got disconnected. I don't know why. It is quite good, but there is eleven P. No, okay, my or uh, what did you say? Am I audible, Shahid? Muhammad, am I audible? Sir, your voice is just speaking. Yeah. Yes, am I audible? Okay, just wait a minute. Uh, am I audible clearly? No. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Okay. You can see here, osmotic pressure of sugar is equal to osmotic pressure of X. Now, what is the formula of uh, this osmotic pressure? Molarity into R into T, and here it will be molarity into R into T. Now, you know that R is constant, so R and R will be cancelled. T and T will also be cancelled. Molarity is equal to number of moles of sugar. Here it is for sugar, and here it is for X upon volume of solution in liter, and here number of moles of X upon volume of solution in liter. Now you know that volume is also equal, so this will be cancelled. And again, number of moles of sugar will be equal to given mass, that is 5 gram, upon molar mass, that is also given 342. And here, the given mass we need to calculate, and mole, uh, sorry, given mass is given, that is 1 gram, and molar mass we need to calculate. So molar mass will be equal to 342 upon 5 gram. So the answer will be, if you are going to solve it, you will be getting C. So the main point from this question is that isotonic, that means same. And since we are talking about this, so we can consider same osmotic pressure or you can directly take same concentration term, that is molarity. Are you getting my point, both of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, in the answer in the chat. Mm, good, good. Please do write it and let me know. Let me know when you are done with this. Are you done with this? Should I scroll down, Shahid? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the question in which I think uh, you were not able to solve. Just let me get a look at yeah, this was the question. 
will you be able to answer this see the answer uh, the solution is quite easy in water saturated air the mole fraction of water vapor it is talking about mole fraction of water vapor that means in gaseous state is 0 0.02 so we i'm going to write mole fraction of water vapor mole fraction of water vapor is equal to 0 0.02 there is difference in this please do note down this this is very important keep it in mind if there is water and you are heating it okay you are giving heat to this system so some of the water will be converted into gas but when we talk about uh, Rolle's law, you know that partial pressure of, let's say, there is gas A, is directly proportional to mole fraction of A, is directly proportional to mole fraction of A. This is important. Okay. So, what I want to uh, say is that the mole fraction in gas is different from mole fraction in liquid state. So, what you need to do here, yeah, simple, mole fraction of water vapor is 0 0.02 and mole fraction of dry air dry air that means it is talking about uh, the gas so total mole fraction you know that one and in which mole fraction of water vapor is 0 0.02 so mole fraction of dry air will be 1 minus 0 0.02 which will be equal to 0 0.98 yes or no this is the mole fraction of dry air. See, we are talking about gas phase. So, mole fraction of water vapor, gas phase is 0 0.02. And you need to calculate the mole fraction of dry air. And these are two components that is present. So, both uh, the sum of their mole fraction will be equal to 1. So, mole fraction of dry air which will be equal to 0 0.98. Now, you need to calculate partial pressure of dry air. So, you have studied in states of matter dalton's law partial pressure of dry air is equal to total pressure into mole fraction of dry air into mole fraction of dry air so total pressure you can see here is the total pressure that is 1.2 and mole fraction of dry air that is 0.98 so you will be getting 1.176 atm so always remember if you want to calculate any partial pressure so that will be equal to total pressure into mole fraction of that component. Please do write it. If you have any doubt in this,
Yeah. Are you done with this, both of you? Shahid, Harif. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, please do question number two. This question. It's also very good. It's on weight by weight percent or weight by volume. Weight percent percent. or volume by volume it is written already so you can take it as volume by volume Yeah, let me know if you are not able to solve this. Yeah, Tharif, the answer is right. Shahid, what about Option you? Option C. Yeah. yeah, very good. Now we are moving towards the colligative property. This. Both of you are right. Very good.
वेरी गुड तारीफ एंड मोलर मास ऑफ सॉल्यूट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट इट शाहिद सो आई एम गोन एक्सप्लेन दिस टू यू सी इट्स वेरी इजी यू जस्ट नीड टू कैलकुलेट मोलर मास फर्स्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ रिलेटिव लोअरिंग इन वेपर प्रेशर आर एल वी पी रिलेटिव लोअरिंग इन वेपर प्रेशर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट द मोलर मास यू नो दैट uh this is a formula p not minus ps divided by p not that will be equal to mole fraction of solute mole fraction of solute and in mole fraction of solute that is number of moles of solute upon number of moles of solute plus number of moles of solute now you know that since number of moles of solute is very less so we can neglect this and this will be equal to number of moles of solute upon number of moles of solvent now you can easily apply this formula given mass upon molar mass and here given mass that is for solvent upon molar mass of solvent this is for solute solute given mass is given you can see 6.5 g molar mass as you can take m and mass of solvent given mass of solvent that is 100 g and mass of uh, molar mass of solvent that is solvent is water so it will be 18 g so and here you can see this is your 6.5 g okay 6.5 g now if you come here what is the p, uh, ps pressure of the solution is given you can see uh, 732 so here it will be 732 what will be the original pressure vapor pressure that is 180 760 mmhg and this is also 760 mmhg Are you getting my point, Shahid? Sir, this seven sixty is standard. Yeah, yeah, that is one atm. So you can easily calculate this value from this and this equation. And after that, you know that delta T B is equal to K B into M, right? Yes. So K B is also given after uh, calculating molar mass. Uh, you can easily calculate M, and you will get delta T B. Okay. And here you will get one point zero six degrees centigrade, and when you are going to add it, you will get one hundred one point something. Please do it. Are you done with this, both of you? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm gonna give you another question. This is the next question, which is quite easy. Please do solve it. Let me know if you are having any.
Yeah, what did you say? Uh, Thari, feel your answer is correct. Yes, uh, sir. So for, for this question, we should, we should use roles row right RLVP. RLVP, that is colligative property. You can see this is the uh, pure pressure, that is P0. And this is the final pressure. After adding non volatile solute, this is the pressure of the solution. So P0 minus PS upon P0 will be equal to mole fraction of solute that is number of moles of solute upon number of moles of solvent. We can ignore the number of moles of solute in denominator as we did in the previous uh, previous question uh, because the amount is very small. Now you can see this is the given mass of solute upon molar mass of the solute. And accordingly, we can write molar mass of solvent here upon given mass of solvent given mass of solvent. Now, you can see P0 is given as 121.8 minus uh, PS is given as 120.2 upon 121.8 is equal to what is the mass of the solute? <clears throat> what is the mass of solute that is given? 15 gram, 15 upon molar mass of the solute we need to calculate and molar mass of the solvent is given as 78. You can see here. So it will be 78 and given mass of the solvent that is given as 250 gram. So accordingly, with the help of this equation, you can easily calculate molar mass. Uh, Shahid, are you done with this? Yes, sir. The calculation. Okay. okay, okay. Leave the calculation and go for this question number 32. Please do it.
Uh, both of you were correct in the previous class, uh, previous question that is C answer. Now go for this question, which is also very easy. An ideal solution is formed when it's component. Please do this. Uh, send me the answer in chat box. Uh, sorry. Uh, an ideal solution is formed when its component have no volume change on mixing, have no enthalpy change on mixing, have both above character, have high solubility. No, this will not be the correct area. As you can see, delta V mix in ideal solution equals to zero and also delta H mix is equal to zero. So this and this option is correct and we go for only one option which is correct have both the characteristic which is a and b is that clear thari uh, yes. okay moving to the next question both the question is very easy this uh, first question is about ideal and non-ideal solution and the next question is about the vent of factor you can easily do this Please do solve it. Uh, very good. Both of you are correct for question number 35. Uh, please go for question number 37. Shahid, any answer? Uh, 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 no, sir. Uh, Muhammad Tharif, uh, your yes, answer is correct. Okay, so Tharif, can you tell me? In the value of i, sir, for, for L2, value of i is equal to after dissociation. You can see it will give two ions and it will give three ions. That is five, five. and before dissociation one. 
So, so the and, value uh, of quantum factor for A to SO4 whole thrice is yeah the, the shahid are you getting my uh, am i audible to you clearly clearly uh, so shahid not... okay okay uh, let me know if i'm audible now yes sir okay so uh, value of i is of uh, number of ions after dissociation if you are going to dissociate it you will be getting 2l plus 3 and 3so4 minus 2 so after dissociation you are getting 5 moles of the ions and before dissociation it is only one so the value of i for this al2so4 whole thrice is five yes or no yes sir and now when you are going uh, you need to calculate uh, you need to uh, search the compound which have i equals to five so for this k3fe cn whole six this compound is known as uh, coordination compound or complex compound you know k will k will be ionized in K plus and there is three K three potassium. So three K positive and this will not dissociate inside the bracket. Overall charge going in positive is plus three. So this will have minus three. If you are going to calculate I for this, you can see three ions and one ions that is four divided by one ions that is I is equal to four. But if you are going to dissociate this, you will be getting four K plus plus Fe cn whole six and you can see this will have negative minus four so if you are going to calculate i after dissociation you can see four plus one that is five upon before it is one so the answer will be c are you getting my point yes. so how one uh, basically if you have remember the val uh, formula for i there are three different formulas in which one of the formula is number of solute after dissociation or association dissociation after dissociation or association upon number of solute before association or dissociation before association or dissociation now as you can see there is dissociation taking place so before dissociation what is the number of moles only one yes or no if there is al2so4 yes, whole thrice what is the number of moles that is one before dissociation one and after yes, dissociation you saw that this will be 2l plus because there is 2l monium and there three so4 so after dissociation you can see three plus two five in the same way four plus one that is uh, five and before dissociation it is only one so this is the answer okay so this is it for today i will be uh, seeing you in the next class and in the next class i'm gonna take all the chapters from 